Yeah, as you can see, this parking lot here is pretty full, and I'm told it's like this majority of the day. So as you can imagine, people were quite surprised when it was some spots open, and most importantly, their cars were missing. Now, we're told that at least six cars were towed. Five of those cars belonged to people who lived here who had valid parking permits to be here at their homes. Now, this caused a lot of confusion. It even caused one of the people to miss a day of work. Now that she knows what happened, she says she wants to warn others. The sticker was right here. This is where the parking sticker that should have protected Kelly Jander is located. I've got to be out of my mind. Where is my car? That's why she wants to know why her car and many of her neighbors at the Mercado Apartments located at 26th and Truce were towed. They say without any warning by downtown towing and recovery. Jander says the company demanded only cash to get her car back. Even though they knew I lived here, it didn't matter. The managers at the apartment complex say they do have a partnership with Downtown Towing and Recovery to monitor the parking area for illegally parked cars. But the managers say the towing company violated that when it failed to follow protocol, which should have resulted in tickets for 24 hours first. Instead, the managers say the company towed all the cars that same night. I talked to my apartment complex and they, it was like a miscommunication with them. And this doesn't seem to be an isolated incident. When Fox 4 went to visit the business located in Riverside, we met this man. They just came and just towed a bunch of cars for no reason in the middle of the night. Like everybody just like woke up and like there was just a bunch of cars missing. He says the same thing happened to him last night at his townhome in Parkville. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. When we tried to reach the owner of Downtown Towing and Recovery, the first time we called, they hung up. They also refused to answer the door or any calls. Fox 4 only received these text messages, reading the location was private property and telling us to never come again. From a city perspective and a state perspective as far as regulating tow trucks, I think there's a lot of loopholes in there that the tow companies are actually utilizing for their benefit. Jander got her car back within a day, but being without a vehicle cost her. I had to call into work. And it cost her to get her car back too. That amount, $200. None of this ever had to happen. And we're going to continue to try and get answers from this tow company. But in the meantime, management at the Mercado Apartments, they tell us that they have since terminated their agreement with the tow company. And they're currently working to refund everyone who had their cars towed and had to pay up front to get their cars back. Now, working for you, we do have information on Fox 4, KC.com about what to do if you're in this situation and how to properly file a complaint.